Thank you. Other interesting cultural news, you have climate actors vandalize the Mona Lisa as we see the museum security continue to be a joke, to say the least. Now, this comes to us thanks to a ex-Twitter account by the name of End Wokeness, and they said, quote, climate activists just saved the just saved the planet, they threw soup on the Mona Lisa, unquote. Which, yeah, it's always fascinating to see, not only the hypocrisy, since most of the time they use paint or and oil, other oil-based products for their vandalism, but if you, I can't list a single accomplishment that these, some might argue terrorists, have accomplished ever. Not just, you know, in terms of their activities, but also in their life. You really don't see a lot of them, you know, making a dent in the universe, as I would say. Now, these people... Two individuals, I can't tell. Let's see here. So there's a little video. Let's see. Hmm. So you look exactly as you would expect. Let's just say. It's fascinating. You never see a masculine figure in these instances. You never see like a jacked guy going along with them or ever at a protest. It's almost as if they have better things to do, like a job or hitting the gym or family or friends. But nevertheless, thankfully, the Mona Lisa is behind bulletproof glass. But they're able to sneak up. Again, I don't know how inept these government or these employees are or these government entities are, since most of them are owned by the government and they're public for it to be viewed. But Again, these things just keep happening. I can't decide if the security is either lazy or inept, inept or just moronic. Because again, not only do they allow hazardous things like cans of paint, in this case cans of soup and hammers to get into museums, but they're also nowhere to be found to stop them. Again, I can't help but think a brilliant way to solve this would be actually have armed security or any security with a modicum of intelligence, either pre-screening or just standing there and actually punishing these people, which there are many variables as to why this thing continues to happen, but is morally and mentally vacuous to say the least. Now, as youth might say, this went viral. It got 6.4 million views in 24 hours, which is astronomically successful. Now, it also got 31,000 likes as well, which is a fun little reminder to click this like button on this video to see, I mean, statistically speaking, we won't get 31,000 likes, that would be Granted, a wise pilot once said, never tell me the odds, but they would be pretty small. However, every like is appreciated, so if you do that, I would greatly appreciate you. Or a down vote and a comment if you didn't like the video, so I know how to improve. Nevertheless, going to the comments, the first one comes from Paul Zuppa. says, quote, The Mona Lisa is behind bulletproof glass, so it's fine. These climate activists never will be. Their stunts offend people and push them away from considering the cause being promoted. Ironically, these stunts cause pollution because of the wasted time and effort they, they solve. Involve, rather. Unquote. That got 1.8 thousand likes. Mark said, quote, Make mental asylums great again is a gif for a rather juxtaposition of two pictures of the doctor. And doctor, the guy says to the doctor, Doctor, I've been depressed because the weather, uh, I'm depressed because of the weather in 30 years. And the doctor responds, says, quote, Have you tried destroying priceless artwork? Unquote. That got 5.1 thousand likes. Let's see here. Caillou says, quote, giant wave is a mercy compared to them. And it's a picture saying, and the picture is a gif of a wave versus a juxtaposition of, I forget the main, what's the main, what's the main orc from Lord of the Rings? I forgot. Oh no, it's Greta Thunberg. Oh, it's close. And the picture, the text says, quote, poll finds most people would rather be annihilated by a giant tidal wave than continue to be lectured by climate change activists, unquote. They got 2,000 likes. Let's see. Adam Luisk says, quote, The woke are not so much better than the Muslims who destroyed the Assyrian statues in Iraq or the Buddhas of Afghanistan because they're viewed as idolatry. The woke are religious fundamentalists, unquote. They got 1,000 likes. Rapid sloth, though, F- minus for marketing, the picture is not even of a sloth. Though one would wonder, how would a sloth be rapid? Nevertheless, this alleged sloth says, quote, make it sounds great again. It is a picture of a gal in the, okay, what, the straight jacket. And the text is, we didn't have all these psycho liberals running around back when we had Satan asylums, unquote. Like a 755 likes. Although that's also because we didn't have indoctrination mechanisms like 
colleges and public schools weren't so what's the nice way of saying infected they were so inebriated they were so interconnected with ideological ideals versus what used to be just teaching children zeros and ones just numbers strict actual real history nevertheless let's see here Caillou also replied with a gif saying radical climate activists interrupt a snooker match and some mentally vacuous person jumps on a pool table or a snooker table the picture says just stop oil and they throw orange powder everywhere they got 180 likes though see here let's see jason hambrick said quote their punishment should be five year labor at an oil refinery unquote that got 823 likes and my seal of approval for an interesting and ironic punishment, which, granted, you have to monitor them quite thoroughly because yeah, they probably never had a job or worked, but they also have to make sure they're not sabotaging the oil refinery as well. But that would be an interesting idea. Let's see here. The Kyle Reese says, quote, Wow, after seeing that, I certainly need to take their cause seriously. Said no one ever, unquote. That got 847 likes, which... Again, as soon as any movement or ideology gets violent or they start putting van to vandalize things, you automatically lose a bunch of support, whatever the topic is. So again, it's ironic that these keep backfiring. I don't know. I mean, it's just not going to gain any effect. It's also when they just sit in the street asking to be run over when it's in high, tra high density, high speed traffic and yet they sit in the street to interrupt the flow of traffic which is extremely dangerous because, again, you don't know... You, again, oh, well, I was going to say a lot of these people are small. Well, in America, they're not. But some of these people, these activists, are just... They're pretty small, so if you're driving really fast, you might not see them. And the person behind the car might... It, it's just ask... It's very dangerous situation. And you also make everyone late for work who actually has a job. So, again, I'm not sure... Why? Well, I guess we don't know why it keeps happening because the museums have no security or they don't enforce the rules and the judges actually don't prosecute the crime. I mean, why not? Again, if this is in the United States, this is a European museum. They are pretty much lawlessness. But nevertheless, I can't but think a great way to stop all this would be to have a guard. Especially if this is, again, one of the most valuable pieces of art in the world of all time. I can't help but think not only to send a message to dis to actually say to prospective vandals that we will not stand this, but also just to do the right thing to guard that piece of history. Have a guard stand right there. I mean, ideally you get a Marine because those are hard to beat. In American museums, we should definitely do that. We have plenty of veterans who would benefit from that and it would preserve history, which unfortunately is gaining or rather losing support throughout the years as more and more people fail to realize the importance and significance of history. But it'll be interesting to see if this problem ever does resolve itself. But culturally speaking, unfortunately, I don't see a lot of appetite for it as we see more and more climate activists and more vandals want to destroy pieces of art. But let me know, comments, how would you fix this particular cultural problem? And do you think at the end of the day, will one of these morally, mentally vacuous people actually succeed in their, in their goal to destroy a piece of workless, a piece of priceless art i certainly hope that won't be the end result but i suspect it might be that would that, that act that actually takes these museums to wake up and do something to pro, be proactive to stop the threats but as i always say time shall tell thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today again by the end of february we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers so if you click that button i greatly appreciate it also leaving a thumbs up thumbs down or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback on how i can make the show better and better Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.